Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Well, I actually should be saying good afternoon. This is September the 25th, 2024. Uh, got a report in that UFO was shot down by a U.S. warplane. That was reported by Canadians. We're also going to be looking at uh, another issue here. Tel Aviv struck by Hezbollah missiles. Uh, getting into that, and as well as U.S. troops being sent over to Cyprus. These are our headlines for today. Also, we'll be doing a little bit of a talk about uh, our in-depth view on NATO bringing, uh, will NATO bring Ukraine in? Uh, that's an in-depth uh, uh, exclusive that we did on our Patreon channel. Also, is Planet X closing in? That was posted four days ago. That actually... Must be a really good video for uh, Patreon. It is an, an, an exclusive on Patreon, and it's had over 1,000 views. Generally, our Patreons will get about three, 400 views on a video, but that one there has already topped 1,000 views. So uh, I think our Patreons have really, really appreciated that video. I'm hoping, as we had promised, we're going to be doing these in-depth uh, videos, and as we promised, too, for those Patreons that... Uh, are not paying, we are releasing some of our older footage as well for them to be able to enjoy. Uh, the exclusive Patreon videos, though, will not be made public, uh, and neither will they be public here on Israeli News Live, uh, unless there is some reasoning. We are going to be doing a remake of the Towers uh, video there. I got some very interesting information from a brother that his wife was there that day. Uh, so we're going to make a correction on that, but he also gave me the information to look at that would help uh, in that being so known as well. Anyway, Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Let's get started right now. Going first with this Canadian report. Now, this is Canadian report. Canon has released the first ever image of the UFO shot down during a chase over, uh, oh, excuse me, above Alaska and the Yukon that followed the Chinese spy balloon drama on February of 2023. And these, this is that image that they showed on there. I'm going to kind of try to make that a little bigger for you if I don't get a whole lot of other junk in the way in the process. Give me a moment. Here we go. Uh, that's the image of it. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Unclassified, they say. Canada has released the first ever image of a UFO shot down during the chase above Alaska and the Yukon that followed that Chinese spy balloon. There are five frames. This is number two. The odd picture shows a seemingly circular white object that had been shot down by the U.S. Uh, Force F-22 Raptor stealth fighter in a joint mission with the Canadian Armed Forces above. Uh, and I don't personally see anything in this image that shows the thing they shot down. Maybe they're just trying to show the image of the F-22. Uh, they're showing here the, uh, of course, they had the suspect spy balloon that you can see pictured right there in the center of the screen there. Which, you know, if you go back and look at this figure here, was that the spy balloon? Maybe so. Uh, I, I'm not really sure there, but uh, looks very similar to what we have here. Said the suspect spy balloon was one of the, uh, four airborne objects gunned out of the sky by the U.S. over eight days of February 2023. The unusual feature of the newly released UFO photo is that it had already been designated unclassified within just days of these 19-month-old uh, incidents. Um, they had put this caption in here. Should the image be released, it would be, a, be via the CAF social media accounts. Given the current public environment uh, and statements related to the object being benign, releasing the image may create some questions, confusion regarding the text that will accompany the post for your consideration. I find that interesting, right? They're going to release that via the CAF social media accounts. So they got their own social media account agenda. Okay? 
that's kind of weird, right? Just bizarre. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Um, a possible reason is one public affairs official with Canada's Department of National Defense warned colleagues was internal fears that releasing this unclassified UFO image may create more questions and confusion. The official, a director of communication named Taylor Paxson, advised military colleagues that this confusion would be inevitable given the current public environment and statements related to the object being benign. So... Let me just see if we got anything here I'm missing. Um, top center of the UFO in this newly released image may depict either that upper metallic region of the remains of the alleged package. But this release adds more mystery to the wave of espionage tinted UFO activity that, that surrounded the confirmed downing of the authentic Chinese government spy balloon. And... The question is, let's see, refuses to release the footage of the UF shot down over Alaska. See, this, so the Pentagon is not willing to release it. But is that the actual image there? This is going, all right, I clicked on it. It takes us back to this other article. And I don't know if they're going, let's see, I can tell you that there is currently. In, uh, in, oh gosh, here we go, right here. Now, I'm assuming that's the balloon that they're going to shoot down there. So, that's what that appears to be there. So, I'm, stu I'm still looking myself for the actual quote-unquote images. Let me back up again. Because I have yet to see the actual image that they're talking about. Hmm. You know, unless in this video, it's going to have the image in there. Don't know. Don't know. We'll see. We'll let the video play. We'll check back here in just a little bit to see on that. Um, does not appear to me anything like that. Anyway, moving on over to uh, Tel Aviv. Uh, Hezbollah last night was able to uh, cause some damage in Tel Aviv with missiles getting through past the Iron Dome. This was one strike there yesterday that hit. That's a very, very significant blast uh, that struck there in Tel Aviv. That, uh, by the way, um, clearly showing that Hezbollah does have a lot more sophisticated missiles than that of uh, their counterpart, Hamas. And uh, this also, this... Uh, gosh, sorry about that. I've got some kind of virus thing in this computer that really causes a lot of problems. This is them putting out fires there, starting in the daytime, going in on into the night there from uh, the blast that hit. I don't know if that's the same blast as the other blast or not. Like I said, I don't know if it's the same as that one. I'm assuming maybe yes. Now, this is clearly is a different area here that a missile uh, touched down at. Um, so supposedly there were several places that were hit uh, by these missiles that were shot in by Hezbollah into Tel Aviv. Now Israel is definitely expanding their fight in Lebanon as a result of uh, Tel Aviv getting hit. Um, and uh, that is uh, NATO going to potentially ground war spreading. Yes, that's definitely so as well. But as a result of this war that's going on in Lebanon and only heating up, UK is sending troops to Cyprus. Uh, the US uh, uh, deploys troops to the Middle East, or while they're deploying troops to the Middle East, uh, the uh, Natasha Bertrand, 
uh, who is a reporter at the Pentagon, released this here. New additional U.S. troops have been deployed to Cyprus amid sharply rising tensions between Israel and Hezbollah. They're preparing for a range of contingencies, including a possible evacuation operation from Lebanon for U.S. citizens should a full-blown war erupt. Um, we also have this one popped in here from Rumsfeld. U.S. 101st Airborne Division touchdown in Cyprus. Uh, I've seen the... Uh, more of the video footages of that as well. Not video footages, but uh, those that are showing the maps and stuff uh, coming across on that. Let me just see if I can pull that back up. Uh, Cypress U.S. Airborne. I think that'll pull that up for us there. Um, let's see. That was one there. Oh, goodness. You know, finding stuff without all the goofball stuff in the process is not e easy. Cyprus, U.S. Let's put military in there as well. That might help us out a little bit on doing that search there. Um, the YF-23 Diamond Wing Fighter that could, couldn't outperform Lockheed's F-22 Raptor. I don't know anything about that. Let's go to the top here. Here we go. That's what I was looking for right there. This was just showing some of the uh, path flights that were being done there uh, going in. Well, actually, that one there was going into uh, Israel. That was the one that was shown there. But I think the other one shows the flight path. Yes, going to Cyprus. These are from military bases uh, in Europe, back and forth between Israel and Cyprus. Of course, the question is, is why are they going into Israel? What do we have troops going into Israel for? Are they going to be fighting along with um, Israeli forces as well uh, don't really know the answer to that so um, uh, so the C-17 flights departing from Fort Campbell potentially indicating that uh, the activation of the 101st Airborne Division according to U.S. officials this activity appears to be related to the contingency planning for a possible evacuation of, of U.S. citizens is what that would be that's the latest that we have right now. Don't forget our Patreon channel, as we mentioned in the beginning of this. We do those exclusive in-depth looks at certain subjects. This week we've looked at, will NATO bring Ukraine in? Um, and when I say that, I really did an in-depth look about the possibility of Ukraine becoming a NATO member to be able to justify a war with Russia. Uh, last week was, uh, is Planet X closing in? And uh, this, this video here, like I said, over a thousand views, uh, and it is an exclusive to Patreon. Uh, later tonight, I'm hoping to have the Romans 11 video finished. It'll probably air over on Patreon to start with, and then I'll be releasing it to you guys this weekend on Patreon. Uh, that's one reason why you want to become a member there. You get the sneak peek view of an interview with Colonel Greg Renshin. We're going to be talking about Planet X. He's got some amazing knowledge on that subject. We're going to be talking about that. It'll be released this coming Saturday night on patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. Good bl blessings to you. Have a wonderful day.